Good afternoon. I'm John. And this is the Fat Hunter Channel. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing four McDonald's items from the Global McDonald's headquarters in Chicago, Illinois. And these are the lunch and dinner uh, available varieties of meals and foods that you can get currently at the Global McDonald's. I have two sandwiches, a side, and a dessert. If you've watched my previous video, you've already seen that I did a breakfast item from Poland. These four items are all from four different places. The first one I'm going to start with is a burger, and it comes from Germany. That's a country in Europe. Anyway, here's the burger. It's called the Big Roasty. Or Rosti. It's a R O and the O has an umat on top of it, the two dots. I tried to like figure out exactly what it's supposed to uh, be pronounced like, but everywhere I look, it sounds different. Um, some are like roasty, some say rosti, uh, but it means it's basically a hash brown, what rosti means, or a potato pancake. So here it is. You see, it is a burger. It um, comes on a onion roll. It appears. Uh, yes, toasted onion bun. Now, the picture that uh, you find on the global McDonald's, it definitely looks like there's more onion. Than the specs that I have on here. But if you go then to the uh, Germany page, it has like a. It looks like there's a toasted cheese on the bun as well. Um, but uh, it has a cheese sauce. On the German website, the cheese is white. You have the potato pancake patty which is not a hash brown. It looks a little, a little bit different. You have a slice of American cheese, you have a burger, and then there's nothing on the bottom. Uh, yeah, on the German website, it says, Hutengaudi is back, and so is our legendary Big Roasty. Between crispy bacon and juicy beef, you will find the centerpiece, a golden yellow roastetaller, tastefully rounded off with a creamy cheese sauce, a treat for your taste buds. Um, so it appears that this cheese sauce is the yellow cheese sauce that they're also using for another item that I'm going to be reviewing. Uh, so the exact accuracy to the German product seems a little off, but we're going to go ahead and taste it anyway. The Big Roasty. Okay, okay. There's some things I like about this. But overall, this is a not recommend. Um, the biggest part I don't like about this is just how dry the sandwich is in general. The only, like, moist or wet thing is the cheese sauce. The bun is soft but it's dry the burger is slightly juicy but McDonald's burgers aren't known to be extremely juicy the potato pancake is very dry feeling um, it doesn't taste like a hash brown it tastes like a potato pancake you have like a latke um, a, a Jewish food uh, potato pancake that's exactly what it tastes like and the same texture, same flavor profile. 
potatoey, but there's some herbs in there as well. Uh, it doesn't have the texture of a, of a deep fried hash brown. Um, it tastes more like a baked item or maybe a pan fried item. I'll take one more bite uh, before moving on. Uh, maybe there's more cheese in the middle that I'm just not getting to. We'll see. I wish I had a drink for me. The flavor of it isn't terrible. I think I think this could be done a lot better um, it's just dry and it's a very subtle flavor profile for the whole thing if the bun had more of those onions on top like the picture shows on the German website I think you get more of that oniony toasted flavor I think the uh, the creamy white cheddar that they put on there on the picture might be a little looser, spread a little more, give the sandwich a little bit more lubrication to it when you're eating it. And um, it's just too dry overall. And the flavor's not bad, it's just not. Mm, it's like a step or two, maybe above bland, I'll say. I'm going to give this one thumbs down in its current state here at the global McDonald's. Uh, I feel like I don't want to judge this uh, for what it might be better in Germany, perhaps, but uh, stay away from this one in the United States as well. Anyway, the second item we have is on a sandwich. This is from Singapore, and this is another word that I might mispronounce. It's called the Crispy Hainanese Chicken Burger in Singapore. Um, Hainanese chicken is a Singaporean dish. Um, it's a chicken and cabbage with a special sauce on it, served over rice. This is supposed to be on a polenta roll. Um, and it looks similar. It has like that, like, I think it's like cornmeal kind of dusting, which is what polenta is. Um, it has a very interesting smell to it. Uh, when you order it in Singapore, you get a packet of dark sweet sauce on the side. Um, here at the Globe McDonald's, they just put it as a regular topping. But you also have. A lot of it's just regular mayo mayo that dark sweet sauce on the other bun we have more sauce and more mayo um, and underneath the chicken we have some wilty greens the cabbage also has some green purple and carrot uh, like a slaw mix. Um, on the United States version, it says garlic chili sauce, sweet soy sauce with ginger, mayonnaise, leaf lettuce, dry slaw, Hainanese chicken patty, and semolina bun. And on the Singapore side, it describes it as crispy Chinese chicken burger with a crispy fried chicken patty, cabbage, carrots, lettuce, mayo, ginger sauce, garlic, chili sauce, and a soft 
semolina bun. It looks like a much more sauce than the roti burger. <laughs> Let's go ahead and taste it. I've noticed in a lot of foreign places, they call them chicken sandwiches, chicken burgers. I know that here in the United States, we assume burger implies beef. But uh, I've heard shrimp burger, chicken burger, fish burger, all that kind of stuff. The actual chicken patty itself slightly crisp on the outside but the chicken inside is very moist compared to the roadie burger this is like night and day when it comes to how moist it is The uh, flavor profile of this is mainly that chili sauce. The um The chili sauce reminds me of something that I can't specifically remember right now, but it has like a almost orangey flavor to it. You definitely taste garlic, ginger, we had chili, that soy sauce flavor, but almost like an oranginess. Hmm. I can't really think of what that sauce is that this is reminding me of. It's some Asian country's sauce. Take one more bite. Now this one's good. I'm definitely going to finish this one. Probably not the roadie burger. We'll say the picture on the Singapore page does look more like a very crunchy, crispy chicken. This one uh, looks a little bit lighter on the fry. I don't know if it's just that uh, it hasn't been cooked uh, enough. But I don't think it was necessarily lacking in the crisper crunch. It definitely could be crunchier but definitely not lacking. I'm going to give the crispy Hainanese chicken burger from Singapore McDonald's one thumbs up. Could be better, but I liked it. You might like it too. Go ahead and try it out if that's something that interests you. Next up, the side item. These are McFlavor fries. You might, if you live in the United States, you might have at one point had the opportunity to try these when uh, McDonald's was doing a global menu in every McDonald's nationwide. And one of the items they had was bacon cheese fries from Australia. And that's what I have here. Um, I don't know. I think I actually did a review of these at one point. 
but I couldn't find it um, in my in my uh, list of videos. But I'm pretty sure I tried this. When I opened this, though, something struck me as not great. And uh, let's see if the camera will pick this up. Uh, I have yet to taste this, but the view didn't look great. Now, what do you see in that bacon that could be concerning to you? It looks pretty light pink. Almost like undercooked bacon. It's squishy. It's stretchy. It's spongy. It tastes like bacon. It's just not crisp at all. It's gummy. And I think to myself, did they just not cook it well? Or was it at one point cooked, but then when they put it in here and closed it up, it like steamed in the box? which like re-moistened the meat and the cooked meat absorbed so much water that it became like little sponges anyway it still tastes good it tastes like salty bacon it's just there's no crunch and there is like a chewing gum texture to it you'll notice it's the same orange cheese sauce from the roti burger. So, I believe Global McDonald's took a shortcut here. And instead of getting that white cheddar creamy sauce for the roti burger, they just doubled down on this french fry cheese sauce and put it on there because who here? would know the difference. The fat hipster knows the difference. That's who McDonald's. Anyway, taste good on the fries. It's got that tangy, salty cheese sauce flavor. I'm really conflicted about the bacon though because it's jiggly and stretchy. It's not crunchy or crisp. And the flavor is good. It's just. Why is it. Why is it bacon chewing gum? And why is it not crispy crunchy bacon as it should be always um, when I did the when I had this before I don't remember having that issue I'm going to give this I think I the idea of it is a, is a thumbs up. If it's done well, it's a two thumbs up. I think I'm going to eat around the chewing gum bits of bacon and finish what I can of this. Because I like the cheese on the fries. And I like the flavor of the bacon. It's just off-putting to chew on stretchy gummy bacon flaps for that reason I'm gonna give it no thumbs up no thumbs down because it might just be whoever made this did it wrong uh, so I don't want to say don't go and get it I, I don't recommend it your uh, experience may vary from mine.
Lastly, I have this. This is a McFlurry, and this McFlurry is from Malaysia. And in Malaysia, they had a, a limited time uh, McFlurry selection called the McFlurry Seductions. And the McFlurry Seductions came in two types a Hershey's dark chocolate McFlurry and a Reese's peanut butter McFlurry. I believe there's probably already like Reese's cup or Reese's pieces McFlurries that you can get somewhere in the United States. Um, but I've never seen a Hershey's dark chocolate type. Um, and that's actually the type that they have at the Gold Tiles. They don't have the, the Reese's one. It looks like it's like Reese's chips. It's like chocolate chips, but instead of chocolate, they're peanut butter. I'm looking at the picture here. Um, so with the dark chocolate McFlurry, um, what they're actually doing is adding hot fudge and dark chocolate chips. Um, so if you look at here, I'm going to take the lid off in here so you can see it better. It's still kind of frozen. You can see that chip right there on the spoon. I had this in the freezer a little bit so it would harden up so it wouldn't melt too quickly while I'm sitting here. But if you look at the uh, the mixing and eating spoon here, you can see it. It's like a it's a vanilla cream, but it has swirls of fudge, and then the hunks of Hershey's dark chocolate chips. Let's give it a taste. And yes, their ice cream machine was working today. All right, well, it's no Jenny's ice cream, but uh, I like the hot fudge, but I believe you can get hot fudge in your McFlurry anywhere, because they have it for their Sundays, you can just ask for it in your McFlurry. As for the dark chocolate chips, I like dark chocolate. So my gripe really isn't about the flavor of it. Um, I just don't like having to bite down into like hard, solid chocolate chips. Chocolate chips to me are at their best when it's like in a warmed up cookie. Where it's kind of like you bite into it, it's a little bit gooey to it. Um, it doesn't it doesn't have any uh, resistance to a bite. I think if we're gonna have hard pieces of chocolate in an ice cream, you can't have it bigger than a sprinkle or a shaving uh, size. Otherwise, it needs to have some give to it when you bite. It shouldn't be a hard um, not necessarily a crunch but like a hard like smush cracking when you bite down into it. Uh, it's just not too pleasant when it's like super cold that you have to put extra pressure on your teeth. A lot of people already have cold sensitivity to their teeth. I don't necessarily have that, but um, when you're getting something cold in your mouth, but then necessarily have to 
put pressure on your teeth. I don't particularly enjoy that. I like brownie bits. Even if they're cold, you can get like have a a mush rather than a crack or a crunch. And for that reason, I'm gonna give the Hershey's Dark Chocolate McFlurry a no thumbs up. Um, because some people might enjoy that experience. I don't, and like it's hard for me to think of a reason you might like that. But I do like the hot fudge part of it. Uh, I'd just rather have ice cream with hot fudge swirled in it than having to bite around these hard dark chocolate chips. Um, and I think the fact that they are dark chocolate makes them even harder too because if it was milk chocolate, usually milk chocolate has a little bit of a softer bite. So it's cold, it's a increased cocoa dark chocolate and it doesn't it doesn't give when you bite it it, it resists uh, so yeah no no thumbs up um, which means the Singapore Hainanese chicken is the best option to have right now although it's not like something that I'd say you necessarily need to make a trip for Chicago or Singapore uh, will go out of your way to try uh, this round of global things at McDonald's overall disappointing you have a dry burger you have undercooked bacon you have hard chocolate chips that are frozen um, and then you have a decent chicken sandwich it has an interesting flavor profile that I enjoyed you may or may not the breakfast sandwich, though, was pretty good. So uh, if you are going to swing by the Globe McDonald's, swing by during the breakfast time and try the, uh, what was it called, the double deluxe, it's on my other video, you'll see it. Um, but that had a good sauce to it. The breakfast sausage is good. Um, yeah, that's it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos where every few months or so I go to the Globe McDonald's to see what they have out. I have other videos too. You should watch them all. And I think that's it. Uh, bye, I guess.